Welcome back, everybody. I am still here at the ruined castle, of course, but I am getting ready to head on out of here. Huh? So I did a bit of work. Oh, huh? hi there, hiding in the bushes. Like I said, I did a bit more work on uh, on the docks, and then I added in a new uh, ruined fishing shack. So for the docks, I went around here and just ruined it up a bit, took it out a few uh, blocks here and there. So it gives it a little age and makes it look like it's kind of fallen down a bit. So I think that uh, has a more rundown look that you'd expect from some old wooden docks around here. So this path over here leads all the way over here to the ruined uh, fishing shack. There really is not much left of it, just a few walls. The wooden the roof has fallen in because it's all wooden. It's rotted away. Interior's overgrown. Then there's the remains of a little mud brick, you know, porch or dock out here, out front. And then uh, we got, you know, wheat flowers, other plants all the way around to make it look really overgrown. And then I've added in uh, cobwebs here, there, and everywhere. So now we are... Uh, should be done with this whole area around here and we can start heading out and back to civilization again so i think this thing came out pretty good i'm uh, happy with the build on this one well as i came out of the river and into the larger ocean there's this uh, stony beach that sticks out on this little peninsula here. And I knew I had one more build to do before I could leave this place. So we have this flat area overlooking the water. And this is just shouting out. They have some type of lighthouse or, or monument or some kind of marker on it to let you know that this is the way to go. So we're starting out here. I'm just putting a stone brick base uh, in a general circle around the area. All I gotta do is remember how to actually place blocks in the correct place. And then just I just need to clear out all the stone so I can put uh, put in an actual floor. So the floor here is going to be mainly deep slate. Um, I can put it in like three different directions. So it goes straight up sideways and the other, other ways. So it gives it a you know general texture on everything. So I just have to kind of randomly place everything in here. And since I ran out, I just had to add a couple more blocks of uh, cobbled here. And then I am, the floor's all done. I'm done with that. So now I'm starting on the tower part of the lighthouse itself. So I'm going to go up a level with just the cobbled deep slate. So it's going to be really a solid base with no windows, maybe one door going into it. And then it's going to go all the way up, you know, like three blocks or so. Okay, now I've got the first story finally done. And then I'm putting uh, stone brick slabs all the way around the top. So I'm going to kind of shrink the, the tower inward a few blocks. And then to do that, I'm going to start off putting in, in this tedious task here, of trying to put in all these cobbled stairway all the way around to, to you know, so I can indent the tower into uh, another smaller section in the middle and then start on the second layer. Uh, 
Okay, now they've got all the stairs in there. I can start going up again on the second story. So this is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be smaller than the first story, but it's just going to go straight up there. And then I can get a nice, uh, kind of a nice tight tower center here so I can put the light on top of it eventually. And I had to do a bit of fiddling around because my symmetry was off here. So but I think I finally got it uh, centered and squared up so I can start on making uh, moving up from the base and going up taller. Um, I'm doing the stone brick here on this part just to give it a contrast from the dark down below. And then I'm putting in black windows and that kind of ties it all together and doesn't create this big solid monolithic block. It looks more like an actual building that way. Oh, okay. Wow. I actually, it actually worked out that I actually got this right, uh, where it needed to be for this final tower here. So I'm going to go up, up uh, a bit, and then I can, uh, make sure this uh, light can be seen from a distance since it is a lighthouse. And then once I am up here at the top, um, I'm going to just put in a couple of sea lanterns for the actual beacon of the lighthouse. So this is really a mini lighthouse. <laughs> and then at the top, I'm just going to do a plain pillar with the uh, torch at the very peak of the building. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. I think the uh, deep slate and the, and the brick uh, mix well, especially with the dark panes of glass in there. It kind of ties everything together, and it is a viable lighthouse. And then on the inside, let's look around here. Maybe the uh, upper stones have collapsed here. So we'll just put a pile of them, you know, they've fallen down from above. So those would be the stairs you would have taken to get up to the next level. And then these uh, oak logs here would be the supports that have fallen down. So everything's kind of fallen down into the first floor because it's a ruined uh, lighthouse. Okay, so I have uh, the lighthouse all done. I did add in a few cobwebs and plants around the base, um, but really something is missing, or actually precisely something is not missing uh, from the actual lighthouse tower part. So up here, I wanna go ahead and knock out a few of these blocks to make them look like they've aged and slipped out and fallen down. That way it'll look a little more ruined. It's not as ruined as the castle over there, but it. We'll have this ruined look where bits and pieces are missing. You can tell it's not new and pristine. It's been there quite a while. And that looks like a good start. Okay, that, that is much better. It, that really matches up now with the ruined castle over there. And um, in the bottom, I did not want to add, you know, like a lot of plants and stuff around the bottom of it. I just was minimalist on that because it's actually sitting on that big stone, pl you know, platform there. And there's really no dirt and stuff for stuff to grow except for what's kind of blown in with the wind over the ages. So that's why there's minimal plants and things like that here. Okay, so that wraps things up. Uh, in here, I wanted to add in uh, trap doors I had laying around, and then 
I added a couple candles. Of course, however, I guess the candles probably should not be lit. I'm gonna put those out. Well, I think I'm gonna get some sleep and then we will head on out over the ocean here and see what's up next. All right, that should be a good enough marker to let people know that the river is there. You can almost see the castle from here too. Now if we head on this way, we should eventually come to another, I think if I remember right, there's like a desert over here. I'm not going to bother putting any, yeah, because you can still see the lighthouse from here. I won't put a marker on this island. Well, I may put a marker over here. Depends on how close that city is over there. Don't see much else over here of interest. It was a while ago since I went through here, so I can't remember exactly where I'm headed. I know I got to head in this direction. So as long as I go in this direction, I should eventually. Another wandering trader. Boy, those guys just show up all over the place. If we head this way. Ooh, it's the Guardian. Yeah, a temple right there. Yeah, I think I'm not going to put any more guideposts back there because if you're this far away, you don't really need guidance. You're, you're just going to you know, head on east until you get to it. Hopefully I won't be uh, mining fatigued. Oh, look, a ship. Let's see if they've got anything good. Let's see. Potatoes, TNT, and breaking crap. The trouble with these is, with the amount of stuff I have now, uh, oh. sometimes, I don't have anything worth, you know, the bother. Let's see. Nope, I don't think they got anything here. Okay, I think I need to go through this little river right here. I haven't bothered to fly around to look where I'm going. So. Oh, the pig. So let's just follow the river up here and see what we get to. There we go. Had to dig a little canal out. Hopefully, this should take us back to civilization. We've got some dogs, or wolves, I guess. I'm assuming you're not going to be able to get through here without a map. I'm not leaving any trail markers or anything through here. Although I probably should. And another day is almost ended, so... Let me keep heading in this direction. Oh, no, I think I see my destination. Yes. So the sun is setting on another episode. I found my destination, which is this desert city right here, which for some odd reason has a giant iceberg mountain right next to it in a desert over there. Um, I'm sure it makes sense somehow because it got snowy over there, ice there, desert. I think there's even, well, it does look like a place, savanna stuff over there. And the desert city right in the middle of everything. 
Don't ask me how it works. But thank you all for watching. I am going to get some sleep. Well, that's weird. Snow and ice right in the middle of a desert village. So as you see, there is a bit of cleanup I need to do because I need to get this out of here. Straighten up the roads because they're like there's potholes and stuff all over the place. So we're going to clean this city up and then head on back. Yeah, and this one has the wrecked the shipwreck on its side which is a little weird oops and i've got strays i think they're called well have a great day everybody and i'll see you later bye bye